Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mushroom Brittany, guys. Another video. In today's video, we're going to cover what is going to happen in Season 4 of Fortnite, guys. Basically, Season 3 was pretty simple. We all understood that there was a fat meteor coming to destroy the map. Now, did we know exactly what was going to happen? No, but we did get an understanding of the meteor coming, and that was basically the whole theme of it was space and stuff like that. And it was basically set on one single theme, which we all loved. We all fell in love with, and it was intense, and we all talked about it, and it was just something that we weren't used to because in season two there was nothing special like that it was just the skins and stuff like that but in season three they actually implemented a story that was going to change season four basically the map and stuff like that so season three was a big season but we understood what was happening we uh, we all knew that there was a meteor coming and it was going to destroy the map sooner or later so that was something big that we were all talking about literally the whole entire youtube community was talking about this because this was just something that was so big and everyone knew what was happening the only thing that we didn't know was where the meteor was going to hit but towards the end of the season we started seeing actual small meteors coming in and actually crashing into the map if you guys don't remember it was insane it was fun it was a lot of fun it was just scary sometimes because the meteors could actually destroy your building so if you were really high up you could end up dying by the meteors but regardless of that we still loved the theory of the meteor actually coming in and changing the map up so with all that being said we already had all this conspiracy theories out the way all we had to talk about was where the meteor was going to hit but so far in season for this has been the most confusing season ever because we always think something's happening and then it changes up on us like at first we understood that there was going to be superheroes in season four so the start of the season we started seeing all these superheroes and supervillains and stuff like that so we figured and we saw the villain layer with the rocket in it and we saw the superhero mansion over up by lonely lodge and we understood that there was a, a good side and a bad side but the bad side looked like they were releasing a rocket so we saw this happening and we thought that oh crap maybe there is something that's going to happen within the storyline of Fortnite. Maybe the villains are going to do something, so we're going to end up seeing that. But little did we know, halfway through the season, we ended up finding out that it was all part of an act. It was all part of a setup where they were making a movie. So all of these superheroes and supervillains were all part of a movie that no one knew about. I mean, once we found out that it was a movie, a lot of people thought, hey, maybe this is just, the, the rocket's just going to be part of the movie and stuff like that, and who knows what it's going to be about. But then the meteor, the meteor that actually hit the Fortnite map, something about that changed because somebody came out of it and it was the blockbuster skin now for the blockbuster skin to come out of the actual meteor that came from space a lot of us were sitting there thinking okay if this came from space there's no way this is from the planet Fortnite, and they actually know what's going on they know that it's a movie set and stuff like that so we then started seeing that the blockbuster skin was about to release a missile and a lot of people started talking about how the missile was going to hit either tilted moisey meyer or other places like that so a lot of people are starting to now jump on the speculation of that but now now there is a new thing coming that a lot of people are saying this is what's going to end season four. So basically, if you guys don't remember the Leviathan skin, as you guys can see on screen right now, this skin came out and a lot of people didn't really care of it. No one thought anything special of it. But this skin is going to be very, very important within the game of Fortnite because there's an LTM coming out about this. So with that being said, let me take you guys over to the website that tells you all the details about what's going to be happening at the end of season four. So basically the last two or three weeks of this season that we have left we're going to basically be seeing these things coming in together now we don't know exactly what the missile is going to do yet but again stay tuned we're going to show you guys exactly what is happening two epic buddies they ended up cracking a lot of codes and finding this stuff out so here we go let's go over to the website right now so as you guys can see if we open up a web browser and we go to this website fortnite insider it says a new ltm theory escorting leviathan so basically two epic buddies ended up coming up with this 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 is the basically Fortnite map. If you guys come over here to the left of Greasy Grove, there's a little broken house over here, and there's a giant footstep inside of that broken house. Now, this I saw this at the beginning of the season, but then again, I thought, maybe this has nothing to do with it. There's a whole movie scene going on, because there was a camera looking at it, so I thought nothing of it. I was like, oh, it's part of the, the whole movie scene, and that's all it's about. But, apparently, that leads to something that's going to be happening very soon. So, this footprint is over here, and Moisey Meyer is over here. Now, all in this area is where we're going to be seeing things happen so if we come down here it says from further digging by two epic buddies it seems that the leaked skins that we were data mined in the version 4.5 update provides more information on the footprints that is located near greasy grove this also links with the message that was decoded in the audio files of the rocket you can you can see the theory by the two epic buddies below so 
So if you come down below, they tweeted this out. So it started with these Leviathan footprints. So this is one of the new backlinks that is actually coming out. Um, and on the backlink, it has a little map. It shows the footprint and it shows all this other stuff on this, this little paper or map that's on the back of the backlink. It leads to something. So the secret coordinations in the audio files, we've ended up finding this in the audio files and it leads to B6, H9, I8, and I9. So B6 is right here on the map. B6 is right here where the footprint is. I8, I9, and H9, which are these right here. These are all the coding. See how there's four numbers right here? I don't know how they crack these coordinates out, but they ended up cracking the coordinates out of these binary numbers. It's, it's coding and stuff like that. So the coding ended up leading to this right here. This is what they ended up getting by that. So the new, the two new LTMs will be coming near the end of season four. A 50 versus 50, but one person in one team will control the big Leviathan, and the team with the Leviathan has to escort them to Wailing Woods or Greasy Grove. The other team has to take it down before it's too late. There's infinite lives in the game mode, but no building. So basically, it's going to be a 50 versus 50 and I think what's going to happen is there's going to be one giant leviathan trying to get from Moisey Meyer either over here to Wailing Woods or Greasy Grove. Now that's what it says. Uh, personally, in my opinion, I have no clue how it's going to work but this is what a lot of people are thinking how it's going to end. This is how the season is going to end with this new game mode. Now I don't know exactly how this is supposed to play out and stuff like that but the leviathan, the big creature, so one team is supposed to escort him and then the other team is trying to kill him. So basically it's going to be like a, a lot of little people shooting the this leviathan trying to get rid of his health he's probably gonna have like a health bar of like a million or something like that so we gotta go ahead and try to destroy that health bar completely to zero but if you die you're gonna spawn in again i don't know how exactly that's gonna work maybe parachute in from the sky or something like that but you're gonna be able to spawn in again it's not like it's going to be if you die you're out of the game completely it's all gonna be a time mode which is completely different because we've never seen a game mode like this coming to fortnite we've always seen fortnite in the game mode of if you die you're out that's how it is but there's seen to add respawn to Fortnite, which means in the future they're going to be having a lot more things with respawn and stuff like that. Now this is very important news. So the Leviathan will start at Moisey and will head towards either Greasy or Wailing. Uh, the actual role of the rocket is still unknown. So if you guys don't know the rocket that is over here by Snobby Shores, it is unknown what is going to happen. But I'm going to show you guys something later on in the end. But let's keep reading from here on. Uh, there was a post on Reddit that had leaked a lot of information on the end of season four, start of season five, but the post has has since been removed from the information that was leaked a lot of it has come true so there was a link or a post on reddit but they ended up taking it down i think the epic people would decide yo we got to take rid of get rid of this because somebody on the inside is giving information to the people on the outside so they wanted to get rid of that basically like the government and in, in today's society if they don't like seeing something they can easily remove it keep secrets from the normal people and that's basically what happened there so the leak relating to the leviathan is as follows two new ltms will be coming near the end of season 4 50 first 50 so we read that up there and uh uh, the playground LTM was the first time where players have been introduced to the concept of having infinite lives. Instant revive. This LTM is still disabled at the moment, but will be the first look into how the game mode may come into effect. So basically, in the LTM of playground, I played this a few times. Not many people got to play this because it was only out for, I believe, like an hour or two hours, and it was super early in the morning. But I ended up playing this for about two hours, and basically what you do is once you die, you drop everything that you have in your inventory, and you just basically go up and and you parachute down again from right where you died that's where you start parachuting all the way down so you can glide wherever you want and go ahead and loot whatever and you revive you basically spawn in however many times you wanted to so that's how that's going to work uh this is one of the cosmetics that were found in the version patch uh the sketch of the footprints on the notepad we may learn more about the footprints when we when the detective cosmetics are available in the fortnite item shop so as you guys can see this is the backlink that we ended up seeing those detectives that we saw in the leaked skins if you guys did not watch that video i will leave a link to that video at the end of the video so stay tuned for that if you want to see the new skins that are coming out this week so basically there are two detectives those detectives are going to be trying to find the leviathan that's basically what they're looking for and that's what their backling is going to be right here so that's where that makes sense at now no there has not been any official announcements by epic as to whether or not this is true this is just a theory and it may or may not be introduced to fortnite battle royale so this is a leaked image of the th rocket basically the rocket that we've seen landed in anarchy i believe this is anarchy or fatal fields it's one of the farms it, it looks like it might be a uh, fatal fields so the missile ended up hitting fatal fields which means i believe there's multiple rocket landings in the map so this is what i think okay the, not a lot of people know about this but i've seen other images of this 
exact thing right here where the rocket lands somewhere else on the map now if we come up here and we actually look at this map right here the footprint is here Moisey Meyer is here I think that we have to escort the Leviathan over here to Greasy Grove maybe up here to Snobby Shores and the missile ended up hitting right here at Fatal Field so what I'm thinking is in two or three days when the new rocket or if you guys look at the TVs here on this map in the map you're gonna see that there's like a two-day countdown so in two days when this LTM drops we're gonna be able to launch this missile and I think what we can do is we can launch the missile and try to hit the Leviathan and we can try to knock out and kill him instantly to end up winning the game so I think what happened was if you missed the missile that's what this is right here that's what this image is right here is somebody missed the missile and it did not hit the Leviathan it did nothing it didn't explode or anything like that I could be wrong about this but I think that's what this rocket is all about I don't think anything special like destroying the entire map is going to happen I think it's just all part of the new game mode that is coming out now again I can't take any credit of this two epic buddies ended up finding out all this information they tweeted about this stuff so definitely go check them out if you guys want to know more about this but that's what everyone is going to be talking about in the next day or two about how season four is going to end let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below what is your opinion on this do you think this is true yes or no but guys with that being said i wanted to bring you guys this information before anyone else because i want to sh share this with you guys so you guys know and you're up to date with what is happening with fortnite but guys with that being said thank you so much for all the love and support if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and if you made it this far of course why not subscribe you you watched the entire video might as well subscribe but i'll see you guys in the next video peace